so today is Sunday the 21st of March and we are working on the floor so hubby's at work I'm nogging girl so I'm getting everything sorted out and prepped so we're up on scaffolding I feel like I live up here it's uh yeah interesting let me flip you around so I can show you okay progress so yesterday we done loads of the flooring as you can see so the steels have gone in got two sets of steels and um, we've been laying all of the full dress and my job is see these little bits here these are the noggins in between each of the joists so that's my fun and games so i am noggin maker and put her in her <laughs> but it's getting there it's so close to having the floor done so the intention is so today um these noggins that are just sitting up now i've just cut all those so they now need to be notched out with a jigsaw and set in place i've got two sets in this joist and two sets in this joist hopefully by then husband will be home and the plan is that if i span you round this section just past this steel is the section that is left to go to complete the flooring before we start taking the wall out so that wall is coming out and going up and it's going to be a straight up wall and the ceiling here this whole ceiling will be a rear dormer so the plan is to get all that done today we need to board over the hatch for downstairs so that is the, what was the loft ladders um, that used to come up into the loft so that is now going to go as of today and the rest of the floor should get laid apparently <laughs> if there's enough hours in the day because at the moment there doesn't seem to be enough hours in the day so that is my task for today let's hope we get there because I'm sort of bored with the floor and this crawling around in this tiny little space in between here and here it's like crouch I'm like it's a constant squat it's definitely exercise on a whole nother level <laughs> and my weary bones are telling me that so so there we go people excitement for this weekend so like I said nothing glamorous here <laughs> slicked hair barely any makeup I put some eyes on because otherwise I look like a little mouse today especially the fact that I'm so tired um the sun has come out today which is a good thing so we're not freezing cold up here although I do feel like I'm sort of breaking into a bit of a sweat now so so yeah so now I need to crack on and get my jobs done because otherwise if I don't get my bits done husband won't have anything to do and I can't possibly have him not having anything to do when he gets home so if I have the energy or the time later, I will update you on how we managed to fare this weekend. And so you'll be able to see a comparison of now versus the end of today. Wish me luck. Okay, good morning everyone. Today is Tuesday the 30th of March. It's been a hell of a weekend. Um, we haven't been that productive over the last couple of days because we've run into loads of little problems, but I thought I would do my vlogging as promised about the build because I've got nothing else to tell you because other than being up here, I've been laying flat out because every bone in my body is breaking. <laughs> so let's give you a quick, a quick tour of where we've got to just so that you can see, hold that thought people. Okay, so here we go. So this all looks very much the same until we get to here. So <clears throat> we started putting in our new rafters just here and we've got our new, our new ridge board at the top which was a pain in the rectum to get up and to sort out. That took like a whole day so in one whole day it felt like we only put three bits of wood up which was you know not great. Um, the floor plate and the cementing and bits and pieces all had to be done so that we had a good support we had to change this angle so this angled timber here we used the original basically so that um because it, it was a good it was a good straight bit of timber so there was no reason to put a new one in so we've made we've made this new 
this new angle here, which then matches that one to allow for the new rafters then to come off of that. Um, so where should we go? Let's go this way. So hopefully the sunshine isn't gonna blind you all. So yeah, so here's the ridge board. This is our new, our new apex. We've got to put the stringers, uh, the stair stringer on. But that is the basic shape. So there's the new shape of the roof. Um, so yeah, it's we've just had so much to do, and because there's only two of us, it's just yeah. So there's our new rafters that we've put up. So so just for orientation. So obviously these new rafters here the new part of the roof they're going to follow this all the way up to that that triangle and then about here and then there there'll be two dormers that go in two small front facing dormers and then this side as you can see we've cut these we've still got the purling in so that's that's our purling it's holding everything back but from where are we so from about there, we're gonna put a triple poster, triple beam up, which is three three together that comes up here. And that's gonna be the cheek of the rear dormer. And then all of this lot here all disappears and goes that way, goes that direction. And then that's what opens the space up. So, so yeah, it's, um, it's slow. Oh, we've got, I mean, I say it's slow. The last time you saw this, I don't think we had all the floor down. Um, so basically everything is now, uh, floor joists are all in, noggins are all in. We've laid some of our ceiling boards just so that we've got sort of space to, to stand on and work off of. Um, we can't fix anything down because we've still got insulation to go in. Electric still needs to be done because we've got a load of electrics in the floor that Darren still needs to sort out. So I think that's going to be a day when I'm not available or, or unable to help him that's the day that he's going to come up here and sort out all of the electrics because yeah that just looks like a health hazard over there doesn't it <laughs> but yeah so so there you go that's we have done stuff it's just with two of you and dragging loads of wood and you know it's, it's it just takes longer because there's only two of us and um, one is a pink one He's only got one blue one up here, so, you know, I do my best with my manpower, but my manpower is quite feminine and weedy, so, but yeah, so today's job, I think, if I'm not mistaken, today's job is to finish, finish these across this side, so I think we've got, we've got one, two, three, four more roof rafters to go on this side, which will complete this side of this side of that and then we're gonna put the triple beam or the triple rafter in up there it'll go up there and then this lot I think can, I think we're gonna make the the dormer section and then all this lot can come out all this which will be great because then then I'll actually really see the space because right now it still just looks very much of a triangle everything is triangular you know triangles Oh, and the flitch beam's going up, which is, yeah, we're going to need some serious manpower for that. Might have to call upon the neighbour to come and help us with that, because that's going to be a bit tricky. But yeah, see what I mean? It's just still a triangle, but not for much longer, hopefully. So yeah, so all this bit, all this bit here. So we've got a flitch beam that needs to go in along this ridge, ridge beam, and then all that lock can disappear. Here's the plan. Love good plan. So there you go, people. So you've seen me, sort of. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it just takes forever. Well, it says it takes forever. It just seems to take so long. Like some days we, we get cracking and we feel like we've achieved loads. Other days we come up here and we slog our guts out all day. And it's like, is that all we did? Is that, is that it? But it, there's lots of fiddly bits. 
And because we're sort of in the realms of that unknown, because we, we, we don't necessarily know what we're doing on a loft conversion, we're much more like extension builders and grand foundations and those sorts of things. This is a bit more tricky because this is all woodwork, but, but I trust in my husband because he's just super. <laughs> he's clever, but yeah. The stress levels have risen a few times, so, so yeah. But there we go. So that is today's update, and I will hopefully give you an update tomorrow morning, since this is the week we're off. So obviously we was off yesterday. It's the first day off work yesterday, so we've got the whole week off this week. So the plan is to every day be out here and do a ton of work. That's the plan, but we will see. So maybe if I get a chance, I never seem to get a chance to sort of, you know, check back in at the end of the day because it's so dark by then and we're absolutely shattered. But I'll see. If not, I will see you tomorrow morning. Okay, good morning, people. What day is it today? It is Thursday. Thursday, the 1st of April. Um, I didn't manage to get any vlog time yesterday because it was just too busy. Um, but we have made a rather spanking dent in it. Um, although <laughs> you sit there and think you've made a spanking dent, there's actually so much more that still needs to happen. But let me just um, see. Look. Ah. So yeah. So let me whiz you round so that you can see what I'm seeing, because um, you don't want to be here to see me. You want to be here to see the build. So here we go. Hold on. So if you can remember from the beginning of the video, this pitch went that way. So obviously we've lifted. We've lifted this pitch up. Um, these are now our new rafters. Today we are taking this off and we're gonna start some bits over here. This bit, this gable end isn't changing, so we're not doing anything with that apart from taking all of the felt and the battening off and retiling. So from this angle, you can see we've, what have we done? Um, so the flooring is done and completed. We've put down um, the floorboards for now, just so that we've got somewhere to somewhere to stand, which makes it a little bit easier to work. Um, that's the bit that you saw over there. <clears throat> what else have we got? So we've got the posts in. Uh, we've got the flitch beam in. So we've got a new flitch beam up here. And this is, oh sorry, no, that's the ridge board. New ridge board has gone in up here to extend the roof. That joins to the existing ridge board. And then this big bad boy is my flitch beam. So this is the new flitch beam that's gone in, supporting everything. That is the post for the gable end wall. This is the other post that's sitting somewhere near where the staircase goes. And then obviously it all hangs off of that over there. Um, we've opened out the space a bit more. So we've took out all of the, all of these ones. We're holding this lot in place for now because we're gonna use these to, to align all of our new timbers. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's, the, that's the gable end there, the big triangle. Um, and then the dorma, so that up right there, it's the triple. That triple is the start of the cheek, as it's called, of the um, the big dorma. And the dorma, as you can see, starts here. So there's my upright. Going across all the way to the other side. And then that is the first, the first part of the ceiling of the extension that sticks out so this is all room space so we did all of this framed it out there's a lot more framing to happen today um yeah it's a bit chillier today we had a glorious couple of days so the last two days have been sort of like 20 21 degrees <coughs> and today it's a little bit chillier um so yeah so there we go that's where we've got to so today i think we're leaving those roof rafters in these are being kept in but all the battening and the felt's coming off us and because we've got two front dormers that are going in about there and there um the only way to tie in that roof beam this one is we have to tie it all the way through and it connects to the two so we need to sort of work a bit on that and a bit on this 
to be able to move our way this way. Um, but yeah, there's the tackle that we used to get that big ridge beam in. Um, that was fun and games. But yeah, so more work to happen today. So yeah, all in all, I don't think we're making, um, I don't think it's going too slowly, considering it's just two of us. It's just me and my husband and that's it. Um, so we're playing through as much of it as we can. There's still always a lot to do, but um, we've took this week off. So obviously, where are we at now? So it's Thursday. So we've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, because it's bank holiday. So we've got another four clear straight days on it. We're actually tempted to ask for an extra day. So I might ring into work and say, is it all right if I take the Tuesday as well? Um, and hopefully, I would like to think that we've got the the worst of the framing over with. I mean, what I'm trying to do is make it so that I can leave Darren, because Darren does shift work, um, and I don't. I'm a nine to five girl and obviously work downstairs. Um, but I can't just pop up and help him. So my plan is that if I can help him get to a point that everything that's left, or not everything that's left, but everything that's left on a day-to-day -day basis is stuff that a one person can do, um, then it's not like he's, he's going to be struggling because there's only one of us. Um, that's the plan. So yeah, but I'm off to screw fix now to go and buy more supplies. Honestly, this is such a money pit. You just, you don't realise how much money you sink into the smaller things like, you know, screws and nails. That's a bit like going to a makeup store and not buying the makeup, but just coming back with makeup brushes. <laughs> Great comparison. Right, I'm off and I will see you soon. Bye. Good morning, people. Well, today is Saturday the 3rd of April and it is freezing out here today. Absolutely freezing. Um, we've done quite a bit, actually. I'm quite impressed with how well we've done. Um, but my body is starting to tell me that I've done too much. <laughs> so we've got, where are we? So it's Saturday the 3rd, so we've got today, tomorrow, and Monday still to go um, before I go back to work and he goes back to work. So the whole plan is that we've got a big push now to see how much we can get done. Um, in that, Well, that was hubby just interrupting the video with a call to tell me that he's picked up the bits from PGR. Um, so the fair, fairings for the top of the flat roof um, so that we don't get stuck. So at the moment, it's that whole, we're trying to build it and we're trying to plan all the bits that we need to have deliveries of or product that we need here so that we don't get stuck and end up sort of down tools and doing nothing. So yeah, it's interesting. So let me spin you round so you can see what we've actually been doing. Okay, so it's probably... Not looking that much different to how you saw it last time, but it, it is. So, as you can see, all this bit up here is now finished. This is the front dormer window area right here. So that is the first one. We've got all of the triple timbers in um, here and here so that everything's secure and then We've got the same thing over here. Obviously, ladders in the way there. These, uh, these are going to come out. These three posts. Um, so yeah. So that's. We needed to do that because that is actually what ties the back of the roof in. So let me. Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a trundle, people. God, it's so cold. I can't believe that one, two days that we was out here working. Um, the earlier part of this week. It was 21 and 22 degrees, and now it's like three and four degrees. So, here we are. Um, yeah, the back end doesn't really look like it's changed very much. So you've still got sort of the header there. This will be eventually the roof beams of the flat roof. Um, so it's all, yeah, <laughs> there's lots of wood. <laughs> So the way it works is these, this is the roof of the extension part, um, which we're tying through, because we have to have collar, collar, like a collar join, which basically stops the roof collapsing in. So if you see here, so we've left the existing roof rafters there, which these bolt into. 
but then it bolts all the way through to these rafters over on this side and basically that is what makes another triangle there see so it's all about triangles with roofs i've learned so much <laughs> it's all about the triangles so the triangles is what basically gives it the stability that you need hence the reason she says why the gable end is a big triangle so and that in itself is a very stable shape so yeah um inside so dormer window one and over here we've got what will be dormer window two so these these will go back out so that's where i get more head height this section here will still be a sloped roof but basically everything on this side is as you can see there's three roof rafters that have just been put up there um so they that side is the side that basically the whole elevation lifts up and goes all the way across so at the moment we are currently standing in what will be one day <laughs> what will be um my bedroom area so this will be my bedroom and then over here it's a bit hard to tell because there's still lots of bits in the way so you sort of can't visualize it so over here this will be the dressing room and then over there will be the bathroom well like the ensuite so so yeah it's um it's coming along so most of what i've been doing is yeah helping husband and bolting all these timbers together so these are our, these are our our cheeks our triple cheeks it's basically holds everything together um so i've been doing all the bolts all the bolts at the top there of which doesn't seem to want to show you there you go all those bolts up there so i've been doing all those um playing with the nail gun because it's just so much fun to play with the nail gun um and obviously the saw we've got the saw down here so we brought the saw up to make it a little easier. But yeah, it's uh, it's cold, people. I'm cold, everything hurts, and lugging all this wood up. So this is obviously the big beams. I mean, you can see how big they are. They're not, they're not small by any stretch of the imagination. Um, this is all the scaffolding. So we have to drag the beams up. See, there's the beams down there that we've been bringing up. And, oh, she says, let's go over here so you can see. Down here is where all the wood is. So hubby puts the wood up onto here. Oh, she says, it doesn't like that, does it? Hubby puts the wood up there and then my job is to drag it is to drag it all in and up to here ready to work with so yeah lots of exercises happening my weary little bones are ready for me like they screw it's almost like at night time like just everything screams at me it's like stop <laughs> just stop lifting things stop moving <laughs> i'm like a proper old lady <laughs> So down there, oh, come on camera, please, just go where I want you to. So down there, that is the purling. So that is classed as a purling wall. That bit there is what holds all of this back. So all that has been done. So, I mean, it doesn't really look like much is happening. Um, but there is a lot of stuff that has to happen to make it, to make it do what we not want it to do. So, yeah, so although it doesn't look like a lot, has been happening and it, it really is a lot of work so there you go you've seen everything that there was to see that we've managed to do um not bad well i don't think it's bad and yeah we've still got the easter weekend to get ourselves through so we've still got three clear days of slogging it out up here so we're hoping the plan <laughs> I love a good plan. Um, so the plan is that this roof section here, these, 
hope the plan is that we're going to get all of those in um, over the next three days and get it roofed. So that will be like um, not necessarily the insulation, but to get the ply the ply roof on it um, and what else? Ply roof and fairings is is the plan for that. And then at least we've got like something that you know covers covers over the top. Although it doesn't seem to make any difference up here. It's freezing. Look, there's there's holes. There's holes all around the bottom of the of the tarpaulin stuff that they put around, which stops the rain, but really doesn't stop the cold air and the wind coming in. That was the one thing about keeping the um, keeping the felt and the old roof rafters on for as long as we did. Even though it was cold, there were some days up here where it was absolutely freezing. Um, even with that, because you could come inside, it was like it, it, there was still an element of warmth, more warmth than there is now. So, so yeah, we're up, we're up and very exposed. And the fact that the temperature has dropped as much as it has, so that it's cold, but it's also got that nippy breeze. So yeah, being up here, it's um, it's chillier than, well. I suppose it's not winter. It's not the depths of winter, so I can't complain that much. But for me, this is far too cold. But I'm dressed for the occasion, as you can see. And yeah, welcome to my new look. It's, um, yeah, a very unkept look. <laughs> and I've even took my nail polish off. So yeah, um, I'm looking forward to a Tuesday. Tuesday specifically, because on Tuesday, it's Dan Tools and I go back to, you know, a normal nine to five day, sitting in my little office, in heating, you know, tapping away on a computer, no manual labor, no lifting, no, yeah, no, no banging nails, no, no saw bits. Um, yeah, really looking forward to that right now. I've never, uh, it's, I've, I think I can officially say I've got to the age where, manual labor jobs are really um they're testing my body these days but it has been an absolute blast and, and and i i still feel privileged to be able to say that you know i built this myself with my husband not not we had builders in to do it but that's just me i i quite like the fact that i can get in the thick of it and you know, when I say, you know, I built a house or it's a bit like when I built my mum's house, we built my mum's house from start to finish. Um, and sort of with the extension, we did that. Nobody else, we did that. And with the roof, I'm privileged to be able to say that the lock conversion was all us. So, but I will be happy when it has tiles on it. So we do have the roof tiles. Um, the roof tiles are scheduled. <laughs> scheduled to arrive at the end of April so our plan is fingers crossed work to that timeline so you know we are gunning at the possibility that we will be able to start roofing and tiling the roof in April so yeah but that we we set that benchmark that can move we can we can we can basically hold off the tile delivery if it comes to it but the plan is that we should be ready. Um, so yeah, so, uh, and then once I've got it tiled and I've got it watertight, the plan is then to down tools. I'm not, I don't care about the internals right now. The internals, you know, at that point, if the summer's here, I'm down tools and we're gonna enjoy sunny days outside, resting our bodies, and the rest of it can happen a bit later. So, but the actual construction, that needs to happen and it needs to happen now and it needs to happen fast. So anyway, there you go. That is the prep for Saturday. And no doubt I will see you again either tomorrow or the day after to give you an update on how well we've done. Okay. Hello, everybody. It is. What day is it today, Joe? I don't even know what day it is. It's Easter Sunday, whatever day that is. I think it's the, the 4th. Yeah. Sunday the 4th. Um, I didn't record this morning because there wasn't any time. So I thought I would record at the end of the day so it is now 10 to 7 at night and we're literally just packing up um so let me spin you around and show you what we've achieved okay say hi hubby 
Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so as you can see, as we wanted to get it done, we have achieved it, was to get the, um, the roof up. So we have all of the ceiling up, all barring the fairings and the ply. So that is a milestone. That was the bit that we really, really were aiming to get done. Um, everything's hangered. That's been my job, hanging all those nails, nailing every single hole in every hanger all the way along. So yeah, needless to say, my arms are shot and my hands are. So, but I can see the space now. So it's, it's starting to look how I thought it would look. Um, so there you go. So this is the space. So we're tired, we're hungry. We still need to go and walk the dog. <laughs> and we've still got one more full day on it before we all go back to work. So um, yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna get up fairly early and get out here for about eight o'clock in the morning. Um, and get cracking for the final full day push. Hopefully to get this covered um, with the plier. But yeah, um, I'm happy. So hubby is filling the skip up now with some of the rubbish. Um, we haven't done anything on the front dormer windows yet. Um, it's sort of all there in situ, ready to go. So that I think that will be the next job once we've once we've finished um, this back end. So this all this here still needs to be framed um, with the holes being left for where the windows and the sliding doors go. Um, obviously the fairings on the roof still need to be done. The plywood needs to be attached. That will be basically the finish of this main extension section. The gable end down here, the big triangle, that still needs to be framed in the ladders. Um, what's called the ladders that go up on each side um, with the overhang still needs to be done but yeah I'm not sure whether that bit's next or whether we work on the um, the framing out of the front dormers that'll be hubby's decision whatever takes his fancy but yeah we're absolutely knackered we're ready for food so I think it's going to have to be a cheeky Nando's this evening um, go pick the dog up, pick up a Nando's and that will be us very much done for the day. So fingers crossed we'll achieve what we want to do tomorrow and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye. Okay, hello people. Today is Tuesday the 6th of April and oh my God, it's freezing. I can't even begin to tell you how cold it is up here. Hence the big bleepy nose. It's like, it feels like it's like minus three up here. And I'm like, I've got layers upon layers and thermals and I'm still freezing. Um, so I took a sneaky extra day off because although we was ready yesterday, I wanted to give Dale a hand because he's on late this, this week. So he was going to come up this morning and do a little bit more just to get a little bit more done. So I thought I'd take an extra day. That gives me half a day to come up here and freeze myself to to pieces literally freezing um, and then I can spend the other half of the day I'm going to take mum to the garden centre and just get her out because she hasn't been out for ages and yeah she needs to go out so but yeah um, I'm really impressed with how much we've managed to get done in the time off that we took so um, you can see behind me it's yeah it's I really feel like we made a massive dent in it taking this this sort of like 10 days off although it wasn't 10 days we took a week off um, but obviously using the bank holiday and the weekend before made it like a good 10, 11 days worth of, of actual build time, which is, yeah, we've, we've really knocked it to, knocked it into shape. So let me spin you around and show you where we got to. So this is the outside. So we've finished the ladder, which is basically the, the, the overhang that you have over the, the side of the gable. So the big triangle is, is the gable end. Um, so that's all ready and just needs to frame in, in between so that that's all ready to go. Um, but yeah, this, the purling wall, which is sort of the finish, a finish wall here. Um, so we've got some more uprights to go in there um, and that's completed. 
my joyous task has been hammering the nails in every hole of all these hangers um, and the straps that go across. Needless to say, my arms feel like they're gonna fall off um, and I'm gonna have one really strong arm and one not so strong arm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the front dormers, yesterday I bolted all the triples up um, and we've cut back to the purling at the bottom which basically is where the front dormers will go. So that's all done. Um, this is the rear. So we've put the, oh, where are we, there we go. We've put the uprights in. So that's the space there for the uh, sliding doors. Um, that is a wall. Then there's a window, another wall, another window. Um, so yeah, we've done a lot of the framing, the framing out. So the framing out is done. It just needs some more noggings in it. It's a bit hard to tell with the scaffolding behind. It just all looks the same, doesn't it? Um, and then what else have we done? Oh, we need to go upstairs, people, because I need to show you my roof. So we've, we've put the ply on the roof. Um, so this bit is all roofed. Um, let me take you up there. Just, uh, I'll try not to make you all see things. Get hubby. Hubby's taking the. Uh, hubby's taking the uh, the hoist stuff down, so we don't need that. So let's go up. Let me show you. I'll try not to make you sick. It's a little bit difficult when I'm trying to navigate the the ladders. So we're going up again. So this, this is the roof of the Dorma. Um, so yesterday, it was yesterday, yeah. Yesterday um, we was up here, um, we got the plywood on, uh, the fairings are on, and then we've got these upstands. So inside these upstands, a uh, big thick insulation will go in. Then there'll be another um, layer of waterproof membrane that goes on top of that. Um, then there'll be a thicker ply that gets put over the top of that and then this all gets fiberglassed. So that will be the roof and then obviously this bit up here is what was the existing roof up there. That's the ridge board um, and that little bit will just have like, I think that's about a tile and a bit depth or a tile depth plus the ridge, plus the ridge tiles. So yeah, that will finish the roof up here. Um, like I said, there's the ladder. That's the ladder of the apex um, for the gable end. So yeah, I really feel like we've uh, we've managed to achieve a lot. So yay, we're getting there, people. Hold on, let me take you downstairs. Okay, back downstairs. Oh, do you know what? I really cannot. <laughs> After the way this week has been, with like the fact that I mean, I can't get over the weather. I mean. Less than a week ago, I was up here in work shorts and a t-shirt and it was like 22 degrees. And they've officially said that it was one of the hottest days of March that we've had. I don't know if that was in record or um, in the last sort of 50 something years. So we've gone from that to then yesterday on Easter Monday, we had snow flurries. So I was like, really? <laughs> And then today, today, although the sun keeps coming out and sort of fakes you into thinking it looks lovely and warm out there, in actual fact, it's not warm out there because it's it feels like minus two or minus three. The wind chill is that cold. It's a northerly wind coming in. It's an Arctic wind we have, apparently. So, but there you go, people. Okay, people. Oh. <sighs> I'm ready to go downstairs and have a very, very warm cup of tea. Very, very much looking forward to my cup of tea. Um, and we have the, oh, look at the state of me. Look at it. Um, we've got the building inspector coming tomorrow morning. So it's a big day tomorrow. Big day to make sure that he's happy with all the framing, that he's happy with all the steels. And that yeah but we get the green light that we're all good if if not <laughs> i will not be a happy bunny because if he's not happy with the structure or the structures in the building then yeah it all sort of well parts of it need to come back down which no one wants when you're building so 
so yeah so um yeah I'm, I'm i'm so looking forward to tomorrow tomorrow i get to get up do a bit of keep fit in the living room <laughs> put my sloppies on um and sit in front of a computer and just tap keys <laughs> i can't wait because <laughs> my hands my hands hurt i've got oh, no look no no nail pan no nail varnish on i've got cuts and digs all over me i've got bruises all over me um yeah i mean manual labor i'm, I'm all for it because I, i'm doing it for myself um but it's just yeah i'm far too old um and too fragile these days to do this for a living i couldn't do this for a living but i think because it i know it's my own then yeah but i'll get the satisfaction from it so but i am really looking forward to just enjoying the space um and sitting down and actually stitching something because i haven't picked up a needle and thread in ages um yeah i haven't done anything other than build and lay on the sofa going oh which part of my body doesn't hurt it's been like that so yeah i haven't managed to do anything so it's going to be quite novel now to just sort of sit down and just sit down for the day and work so but there you go so there is the update so we've had a straight 10 10 and a half days on it um i really do think we've made a dent we're looking like we're on cue um for the tiles to arrive at the end of april there is still a lot to do but i say there's a lot to do it's more sort of noggins and bits of framing but the actual structure is it's there it's it really is um i'll be happy when we've got some ply on it because it might be a little warmer up here and then i'll, I'll work to my little socks off i don't mind then um but yeah so fingers crossed um i won't be quite so busy with the build um and I might actually get a bit of stitching done so I can actually show you some stitching rather than just me hanging out looking like a hobo here. Um, and you seeing me in all my unglamorous glamour. <laughs> but hey, you all wanted to see it. There it is. There's the space. I know it's not actually there yet, but it's close. Or it's closer than it was before. So, right, I'm going downstairs for a well-earned cup of tea and to take mummy out. I'm going to go and have a nice hot shower, warm my bones up put some actual clothes on not work clothes um yeah and go to the garden center because that's the excitement of my life so <laughs> bye everyone hello my little floss tube friends well <laughs> today is friday the 9th of april um you would have seen up until tuesday how we fared um this is basically the last video um of this little series um, just to show you what else has been done. Um, Darren's managed to get up here for a couple of hours um, over today and yesterday um, and I'm at four hours on the Wednesday. So not very many man hours have gone into it. However, he has made a massive dent on it all by himself because I've been working. But I thought, well, seems as, you know, I, I wanted to do this video. So I thought, well, that way at least I can, I can finish the video off I don't look quite so bedraggled. <laughs> I've been working downstairs, so I'm on my lunch break. So I thought, well, I'll nip up and go and have a look. And I thought, well, since I'm coming up to have a look, I might as well take you along for the ride. So this is where we've got to, people. Let me spin you around. So it's it's getting there. We are we are slowly starting to button this bad boy up. Um, you can see already where some plywood's gone on. Um, there's still a little windy up here, but it's not too bad. So obviously the side walls now are on. Um, there's a bit of um, ply that needs to be put in here. And then this gap here, you can see it's lovely sunshine today. Uh, that gap there will be my patio doors. Um, then obviously there's a wall there. There's another full size window that's going in there. Um, there's some more ply to go down here. That will be a wall. Um, and then there's another window there. And then again, more ply to go in here. That will finish that part of the wall. This side is done. So yeah, it's um, it's starting to look like the space that it should. So obviously this bit is all still very open. Um, that bit hasn't been hasn't been touched yet. But, but I think that's um, once we've got the rest of the ply on this side. Um, and I think hubby is going to make a start on filling in the gable ends. 
So I think that needs some more framing to go in before that can be applied. This all here is all gonna have uh, the membrane put on and tiles. So until we get the membrane on, this stays sort of very open. So the, the, mem the waterproof membrane and the battens will go on and then the wind can't get through. Um, the two front dormers still need to be created, but he's pretty sure that they're not gonna take that long to do. And then we're ready to um, fiberglass the roof on the flat roof and start getting the membrane and the tiles on. And then we are good. We should be watertight, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is the space. So it really is starting to come together. Um, I mean, I know, Considering that it was just the two of us, I started this vlog with basically the roof structure as it was back on, I think it was the 30th of April, uh, 30th of March, and it's now only the 9th of April, and it's just been the two of us with a little help from the neighbor, um, with a bit of manpower, and a little bit of help from Darren's dad popping around to give him a hand with a few bits. Um, yeah, this is this is all us, but it's it's, I, you know, I can see the space now. I can really see the space. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting this water tire. And as I said to my husband, we might actually put some plastic over these holes, some clear plastic, just so that it stops the air coming through. So you can still see through it, but you know, you don't have to freeze to death if the weather, if the weather turns. Although today is actually really quite marvelous out there. It's lovely and sunny. Um, so yeah, I mean, the only problem is this section. <laughs> so that section will be all membrane, all barring those two front dormers. So as soon as the two front dormers are created, then theoretically, we are good to start putting the membrane up with the batten in um, and then put the roof tiles on. So, and bearing in mind that it's only the 9th of April now and our roof tiles were scheduled for the end of this month. I've, I'm hopeful, I don't wanna jinx this, really don't wanna jinx this, but I'm hopeful that we will be asking the uh, roofing company to supply the tiles and the membrane a little earlier than originally planned because we've done so well. Um, tomorrow and Sunday, both me and hubby will be up here. This is where we will be hanging out, um, trying to get some more done and then we'll have to wait and see how we get on. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Well, this is the end of this vlog, at least for now. Um, no doubt along the way, I will update you a little further, but yeah, just so pleased. So pleased that we've got this far in such a short space of time and fingers crossed, fingers crossed, it progresses in the same speedy manner so that we can just, you know, set the tools down, enjoy that glorious sunshine and warm weather. Um, you know, and at that point, you know, we, we can take our time then. It's just, we need it watertight. I need that horrible scaffolding down because it's an eyesore. <laughs> I know it's, I know it's extremely, it has been extremely useful, but yeah, I'm done with the scaffolding. Um, and I'm done with the whole building thing right now. I, you know, I, I need downtime. Um, so, so yeah, I'm hopeful that we're gonna, we're gonna crack on, get a whole nother chunk of work done on this on the weekend. No doubt I'll, I'll be blogging it for you so that, you know, you get to see how we get on. Um, and you never know, if you're really lucky, like really lucky, you might actually see some stitching. Maybe. <laughs> if I can actually find time to do some. So there you go, people. Um, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all your support. Hope you enjoy the vlog um, of, the, of the DIY build <laughs> here in the sunny UK of which it's been sunny it's been snowy it's been windy it's been freezing and now it's mild so look the one day that I'm not up here building and it's mild and sunny typical so anyway until next time people bye bye for now